You ever see like those LS400 videos where like they cut this whole thing out and so then you the can wheel, see uh, the wheel yeah. when you open the door? It's supposed to go negative, not positive. Right, ready? How about that for negative? Oh my god. We're gonna probably have to cut that exhaust off too. Just pull it from the bottom. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. We need more. Let me try a different wheel. But I feel like if we could tip this way more than that. It's definitely gonna fall clean off. Ready? Well, after I destroy that brake line, this will be 100% free. This can go anywhere we want it. I'm thinking like, oh my something god. like that. Dude, no, we could literally go like this. Oh my god, how did, how did it even drive? <laughs> I don't know, we just need to make sure the tire touches the ground before like the control arms do. <laughs> we can add more camber literally by jacking this tire up right here. I mean, we might be pretty good right there if if we can- Go anymore with the arms yeah, gonna touch it, it huh? if we literally weld it all in place exactly like that, we're probably not gonna hit anything. All right, so I figured out a way to kind of cheat the system here since we basically cut the whole hub off of the Civic already. I wanted to use like some better looking wheels. So we had these Koenig wheels laying around. We also had Chow's old hub for his S14. So basically what we're gonna do is fabricate, you know, these points here to work with the Civic so that we can run uh, you know, five by one fourteen wheels. That. Boom. This is how to do a five lug swap on your Civic. Oh my God, that is. Oh, let me let me look at it from where you're standing. It's a lot better than the other one. We need more camber though. We need to try and squeeze as much as we can out of it. Yeah, I like it. It looks way better with like a clean wheel on it. Yeah, this is the basis of uh, the operation here. Dude, we can get so much more camber than that. Oh my God, this is like crazy. Literally, we can, we can do way more. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Dude, that's hilarious looking. This is like that hub is straight up almost 90 degrees. It's literally aim up. So we got to a point where we don't really need a bunch of jack stands holding everything up, but we need to get a little bit more metal because just kind of we've been using all the scrap stuff we got laying around the shop from other projects and this is just too tall it's too big for the most part like you get the gist this will go Dude, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I hope it's... Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm gonna go super slow. It's about to touch. Oh, oh it doesn't flex. Dude, that's it. Is that off? <laughs> no way. Hold on. I'm gonna literally push the car back and forth. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my God. It's spin, it's spin. Dude. This is literally Wait, is it, every is it touching fenders? Dream. Oh, dude, it's been clear too. <laughs> what it's the heck? Out. It's pretty crazy, dude. The wheel is like look at look at the body line from the side. It's oh. pretty crazy. It just has ridiculous camber. What do we do now? I think we have to get cool wheels for the front. You look crazy. It looked pretty crazy. There is literally zero contact patch. The whole tread of the tire is not even touching the ground. <laughs> this is revolutionary camber, dude. So our buddy Torin let us borrow these wheels and they're really big, so we're gonna see if they fit. Dude. Nah, we're about to be on literally the front page of Stance Nation. 
Let's see how much damage we're about to do here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that's actually pretty good fitment. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Damn, dude, are we stanced out right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely should, uh, I don't know, maybe do the jack handle method. Get this going in there so that when we hit bumps, we don't cut this tire up. We got King Ricer himself. We do it for the rich, dude. Not even in the center, but. I know what you guys are thinking. Does this thing even drive like this? We're about to take it out right now, but first, a message from our sponsor, K-Sport. So over the last couple of years, K-Sport has really stepped up their game. They've put a lot of time into R&D and track proving their new coilovers. Not only that, but they have the largest selection of coilovers. Odds are, if you can't find your vehicle's coilovers from another brand, K-Sport is the one that has it. So if you're in the market for coilovers, be sure to click the link in the description, check out K-Sport's website, Check out their Control Pro Series coilover and use coupon code LIFEOD for 15% off any coilover on the website. Am I gonna hit the door? Oh no, yeah. <laughs>
I'm giving away a thousand dollars cash. All you have to do is click the link in the description and every dollar you spend on the site gets you one entry to win a thousand dollars cash. So the cool thing about this giveaway is that we're gonna have five winners. First prize gets a thousand dollars, second prize gets five hundred dollars, and third, fourth, and fifth prize get a hundred dollars. So make sure you click the link below and enter for your chance to win some money.